today we are counting down the top 10 most valuable Marvel comics with a cover date of the year 1978. We've got some exciting books on the list, and you'll see a couple of titles dominate the top 10. So let's get started. X-Men 112 ranks in 10th place. You'll see it also ranks as the 254th most valuable Marvel comic of 1978. Let's go a little, learn a little bit more about this classic title in 10th place. Comics were now officially 35 cents in 1978. So don't be fooled and think that these are the 35 cent price variants from the year before, because this is now the official price. X-Men 112 features a Magneto appearance and John Burt art and George Perez cover. Print run estimated 115,000 copies. Now, X-Men was not a very popular title. Still at this time, he was getting lots of rave reviews. And you'll see how the sales print runs are actually going to increase year by year, which is what helped drive up the price for these earlier issues. And remember, the series relaunched with number 94. So I think that makes this about issue number 19 of the new relaunch with Wolverine and the gang. What else do we learn? On the CGC census, there are 1,100 copies graded in all conditions, including 369 ultra high grade copies, 9.6 or better. Heritage has now sold 100 copies in the last two decades. Nice Wolverine cover. Overstreet Annual Price Guide has not had much movement at all in any condition. It's pretty well set where it is the last few years. But of course, if you want to see how current price sales are, go to ebay.com, look up the sold auctions. And also go to gpanalysis.com if you would like to see what the uh, slab graded CGC copies are selling for, especially the super high grade copies will be breaking records. And on the census, we find 125 9.8s. Only eight copies in total have been graded of the UK price variant of this book from Great Britain. And there is one 9.6 copy of that book. Now, X-Men is sort of, the big title from this year, just like it was the last two years in a row. So next we're finding just basically that X-Men is the most expensive series to collect, whether they're key issues or not. So next on our list, we've got X-Men 111, story and art from John Byrne, Dave Cockrum art. And we got the regular gang, Wolverine, and all our popular title characters. 115,000 print run again. And this is the number nine most valuable comic of Marvel from 1978. And you can see, this is kind of a fun, busy cover. On the Overstreet Price Guide, again, stalled in all grades, but $100 for a raw 9.2 is where the guide is sitting right now. In the uh, CDC census, you can see there's almost 1,100 copies graded, including 132 9.8s. And yes, a bunch of UK price variants have been graded, including two 9.8s. Next on our list in eighth place, yet it's X-Men 110. This one's a bit more of a key issue because Phoenix joins the team in this issue. Nice action cover. Dave Cockrum cover here. Tony DeZaniga also worked on this, one of my favorites. And let's go look at the Overstreet Price Guide. Again, these books are all basically in the same uh, price range. On the census, you can see uh, over 1,100 copies graded again. That's sort of a standard number for X-Men issues this year. 169.8. And the UK price variance is also 19.8 existing. Well, finally on our list, we get to a new title. Captain America 217 is the first appearance of Marvel Boy. So let's talk about this book a little bit further. This is when the title was Captain America and the Balkan, which was currently through the 70s. And I even remember buying these issues. I, in fact, I think I bought this very issue on the newsstand, brand new for 35 cents. Uh, this is a key issue now only in the last few years because Marvel Man would later become Quasar and get his own series, of course. John Pasima cover and art. And not as many copies of this sold because it's only become high in the last few years. So it's quite low on the census in total. Overstreet, it's moving up a little bit in all grades, just slight bumps. <coughs> this is still a very affordable books. And you'll notice that even though these are the top 10 most valuable books of the year, they're all quite affordable. We're finally getting into uh, a period where 
a lot of people are hoarding and speculating and a lot of the comic shops are popping up keeping back issues so we're finally getting into marvel comics that aren't that rare on the census we have 392 copies in total graded 33 9.8 uk price variant is very scarce only one copy graded at all and it grades a nine and now guess what we get back to x-men this time it's x-men 109 ranking in sixth place for the year it's the first appearance of vindicator also known as guardian and called weapon alpha in this issue dave cockham covered john burt art and this one's got a lot more copies on the cgc census a lot of buzz for this book popular cover wolverine getting hit uh a bit of a higher overstreet price guide but still again stalled at the moment in all grades and on the CGC census, almost 1,800 copies graded in this book, 123 9.8, and the UK price variant, there is one 9.8. Now the list is going to start getting a little bit more interesting. Number five, Miss Marvel 18, the first full appearance of Mystique. And I have sort of a personal story to tell. I remember back in the late 90s, I had a huge stack of this book, and they were a dollar each but now those days are gone so miss marvel 18 nice cover also features vision you'll see scarlet witch um avengers appear dave crockham cover number five most valuable book of the year 213th most valuable of the entire decade for marvel and let's look at the price guide this one's also stalled in all grades because it's been kind of a key book for almost two decades now, um, $150 raw for 9.2. On the census, we have 1,600 copies, including 128 9.8s. The UK price variant is a little more common. There are three 9.6s of this book. Now, on our list next, we have something really unusual. Most people don't even know about the books in second, third, and fourth place on this list. So you're going to learn something new here. Almost nobody knows about this book. In fact, I've never in my entire history of collecting comic books for over 40 years, I've never seen these books. So I don't even have a picture to show you. I could not find one on the internet. They are so hard to find. Marvel Comics Super Special issues 11, 12, and 13 featured the storyline Warriors of the Shadow Realm. Now, you may say, well, I've seen these books. Yes, you've seen the regular printings. But they did a special promotion and they printed only 25 copies of each of these three issues and they were uh, autographed and they um, have some type of gold logo on them. So again, I don't have a picture. I can't even show you. There's, there's, there's no copies out there. But interestingly enough, we're going to see that they are not totally impossible to find. I'll, I'll jump down here and look at the CGC census. Believe it or not, uh, here, the Gold Shield edition of number 11. There is one copy graded by CPC and it only grades a five. So this is one of these rare uh, issues that are autographed with the gold logo and features a John Buscema sketchbook. So comparing the price guide of the regular covers, which are easy to find, they're not worth much at all, $10 for a 9.2. But these <coughs> ultra rare prints, are 155 in 9.2 raw, but again, price would be set anywhere if a copy showed up because there are no copies on the market anywhere. Okay, Heritage has never sold a copy in the last 20 years. There are no high-grade copies, and the CGC census is almost empty. So there's something interesting to learn about these books. So remember, these are the regular covers. So I presume it's the same cover with just this gold logo and an autograph on the cover. So because of that being such rare books, they rank in second, third, and fourth place, most valuable of 1978, which leaves us with one big book for the year. And some of you might be surprised to see that this is the most valuable Marvel product of the year. It is Marvel Super Special Magazine issue number five. It's the second Kiss special issue. Now, number one also featured Kiss, and likely had a bigger print run than this one. So this one technically still had a big print run. I've estimated at 200,000 copies 
but again, you can imagine how many high grade copies are out there. We're going to find out in just a moment. It's the number one most valuable Marvel comic of 1978 and ranked 72nd most valuable Marvel comic of the entire decade. Cover art by Bob Larkin, John Romita Sr. and Tony DeZuniga worked on this. It's the second Kiss magazine from Marvel. $1.50 cover price back when comics only cost 35 cents. So it was pretty expensive. That would be like basically $20 retail if it was brand new. In the Overstreet Price Guide, it's been expensive for a long time. So you see, it's been stalled for a while in low grade. No movement in the last decade. High grade has bumped up a bit, but it's also sitting stalled for a while. On the census, there are 210 copies graded in total, including 24 9.8s. There is no UK price variant of this magazine. And so you can see generally compared to X-Men, this is a lot harder to find, even though technically the print run most likely was larger. Finally, what I want to do is look at the CGC census here and let's just compare the rarity and how many books in total have been graded of all these books. You will notice that even though it doesn't rank at the top of the list, Miss Marvel 18 by far has the most copies graded the 16, oh no, sorry, 1600, but X-Men 109 is actually in the lead, almost 1800 copies. That's for all conditions combined. But if you look at the 9.8, you'll see all these books have a lot of copies graded, except of course that gold seal edition. So the most common one on the census actually is X-Men 110 when Phoenix joins the X-Men. And then again, you can see how many 9.6s there are. So overall, that Miss Marvel 18 has a lot of copies graded in, in the top area. As I said, even in the 90s, it was a dollar book. I, I had a stack of them. <coughs> that was way before the CGC days. So there you go. Top 10 most valuable and important key issues of 1978 with a few real rarities in there. Good luck finding those. If you do, let us know. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with another year.